hello friends welcome back to this channel in this video i am going to give you the solutions for problem solving through programming in c week 4 assignment answers i hope all these solutions are 100% correct uh, if you suggest any changes i will uh, try to discuss and give you the modified answer but i think most of the solutions are correct so please watch the video till the end without skipping because uh, if you skip you may miss the content I will uh, say in between. So please watch full video. So moving on to the first question. The control or conditional statements used in C are. So for first question the answer is C both A and B. So if else and switch statements both are conditional statements and moving on to second question what is the other statement that can avoid multiple test nested if conditions so for this the probable solution is option b switch statements so switch statements can avoid multiple nested if conditions so mark option b and moving on to third question the loop which is executed at least once at least actually they gave actual uh, one but it is once at least once is we know that is option b do while loop because the do block will first execute the statements at least once and later it will go to while loop so there will be guarantee that at least once it will be executed that is option b do while loop and moving on to fourth question switch statement cannot use which of the following data type so for fourth question the answer is option d float so float cannot be used along with st switch statement so it means we can use only int char and short in the given options but not float moving on to fifth question which of the following is a c conditional operator so for question number five the solution is option a first it will be a question question mark and next it will be a colon and moving on to the sixth question actually the sixth question is a code they are asking the output of the code so we have to type it in the given uh, box so for sixth question when i did this in the compiler i got the answer as 31 so the answer is 3 1 so if we click on hint it is given numeric answer only so 31 is a number so it is correct so 31 is the answer for sixth question moving on to seventh question which of the following statement is correct regarding c if else if else statement so for seventh question the answer is option c else or if else is optional with if statement because there is no, every time there is no need to use uh, if else uh, or or else if statement along with the if because if the statement in the if block is correct then it will execute otherwise it returns nothing so there is no compulsory need to use else if or else in uh, every every program or every situation it depends on the situation but there is no compulsory need so c option is correct and moving on to eighth question so it is again similar to that one of sixth question but here they gave options uh, as the output so they are asking the output of the following code so when i did did this on my compiler i got the option as option b c programming so 
so moving on to the ninth question so what will be the value of i after, uh, after doing the given code so for ninth question i got the answer as 3 so hint numeric answer only so i got 3 as answer for ninth question and moving on to 10th one and the final question of the assignment 4 what will be the value of a b and c after the execution of the below code so for 10th question the answer is option c a is equal 6 b equal 6 and c equal to 2 so friends these are the uh, solutions that i got uh, when i did the sol uh, assignment so hope this video is helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share to your friends if you have any doubts please ask me in the comment section uh, before submission day please once again visit the comment section because uh, if there are any changes i will mention in the comment section maximum i think there won't be any changes but in case uh, any rare case i will mention in the comment section so hope this video helpful for you keep supporting us like this please uh, share this video to your friends so until then goodbye thank you